Hello quilters! In this video I'm going to show how to do just a basic buttonhole stitch for your machine applique. On my quilt I've been using a double buttonhole stitch and you can see it here how it, it basically it goes over it three or two to three times so that's a much thicker stick, stitch. But what do you do if you don't have that stitch on your machine? Well this is it just the regular buttonhole stitch. So I've started by pulling up my button, my button, by pulling up my bobbin thread and then I'm going to put my needle right back down in that hole again. And I want my needle at this point to be right on the edge of my applique. It's going to take the straight stitches along that edge and then the bites of the stitch will go in. But I always want the straight stitch to be just on the, the edge of where the applique is. So we'll get started by doing uh, oh, I should give you the details of the button sto hole stitch. I have my machine set to a 2 width, 2.0 width, and then the stitch length is 1.9. You probably want to get a sample that you can play with um, just to see what your personal preferences are for the stitch. You might like yours a little wider or a little longer. You just have to play with it yourself to see what you like. Um, I also, since this is kind of a sample I'm doing for you, before you put it on to the fuse this snowman head onto your fabric, I recommend that you go ahead and draw. I had done that on the others. I traced my snowman faces and details on before I attached it to the fabric. I found it's just a lot easier to see my details through the window or the light table, whatever I'm using, if I do that first. Okay, so I'm going to start with a locking stitch. And then we're just going to work our way around the circle. And you'll have to make pivots on a circle to keep going. That's part of the reason I recommend that you practice is that you get used to where your needle's going to fall when it's making that stitch. And you don't need to hurry this process, especially as you're just learning it. Um, there was something else I was going to tell you about. What was? Oh, yes, that when you make the pivots, I never pivot when my needle is in this position over here. I always pivot when it's on the edge of the applique. Um, anytime you want to make a, make a move with your material, needle in a down position and pivot when it's over here. Those are important things to remember. Otherwise you end up with kind of a V with your thread on it instead of the nice stitch that you're looking for. So let's continue around our circle. I always feel like I should play you some music while you're waiting for me to go around. played with this single buttonhole stitch in quite a while, so it's good practice for me. If your machine does have the double buttonhole stitch on it, I do recommend that you watch the other video I made using that stitch. There's some neat tips and tricks that make that one work really well. And also I think I shared some more details about how to do machine applique. So you might want to take a look at it even if your machine doesn't do the double buttonhole. I'm just going to clip these little threads out of the way here as I'm coming up to the end. Looks like one more stitch. 
Now I know if I stop there and then hit my um, stitch lock that it will go right in that little hole right there. Whoops, I went too far. <laughs> but not a problem. So I'll take it out here and clip my threads. stabilizer on the back is an important thing to remember also your stitches will be much smoother and nicer more even so there's with just a regular buttonhole stitch so I hope this has helped in doing your own quilt and you'll give it a try and let me know how it goes and happy quilting <laughs>